Cheers, Internet. Hmm. <sighs> Matt here. We're just taking a quick look at the new Machine 2.6 update that just came out. And this is a major update that will really help you work with your hardware external instruments as well as give you some of the amazing stuff that was in Machine Jam and it's now available on the machine controllers and in the machine software if you don't own Jam. Uh, and then also some great new features for Machine Jam that we'll get into. So really four main things I'm going to clue in on now. And uh, this, uh, this episode is brought to you by Toppling Goliath's uh, Double Dry Hopped Pseudo Sue. You know your beer doesn't have enough hops in it if it doesn't look like orange juice. So fucking good. Delicious. All right, so what's cool about this? Let's start up the track. So what we're doing is sequencing the Dave Smith Instruments Pro 2 uh, from Machine. This is something we could always do note value-wise, but we couldn't really control the parameters before, which is a huge new breakthrough. So automation stuff, all sorts of cool stuff happening now. Um, let's just kind of get to a preset here. All right, and we'll show you what we're doing. So I have a blank sound with my input set up and I have a couple audio effects on top of it. I have like a compressor, a UAD API EQ, and a lexicon emulation from Native Instruments for reverb, okay? So what's cool, and this is what's cool about Studio is, Studio has a dedicated macro control to get you right into the macro page. And so now on the macros, what you can do is come in and you hit pages and all these slots are able to be assigned now by MIDI CC, which is totally dope. So why is this important? Well, because you're an all-star, buddy. You, uh, <laughs> you read the fucking manual, you RTFM, and you know that in the manual, whatever CCs from your hardware synth are assigned to what parameters. So for instance, now I can go into machine and assign a macro control to um, CC69 to control oscillator one level. Wow, that's what happens when you drink too much beer. Anywho, so basically I went in, I said, what controls do I want for the synth set up in a macro page? And I just set them all up ahead of time and went from there. So just a couple basic controls I'm working on. And importantly, when you're done with that, come in here and right click on the name and save it. So you can recall it as a user sound every single time you're gonna boot up the, the old trusty Pro 2. Go turn that delay off. I think it's uh, over here. <laughs> I have to touch the actual screen on the DSI so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, there's a delay amount. Turn that off. I have a reverb mix from the Lexicon. So that's kind of cool. You can combine a combination of MIDI CCs for the hardware and macro controls for your virtual instruments and have basically the best of both worlds. Like I was running this through a real Lexicon or something like that. All right, so let's just kind of tweak it away. Add some oscillators in. Gotta reset that one. So there you go. Very easy to control. Love it. So, very cool move. Now, let's look at another case. What else is cool about this update? So, basically, MIDI CCs for me, that's the biggest one. 
uh, come in here and let's browse for a new instrument. So I'm going to load up my favorite uh, brand new virtual instrument called the Repro 2, Repro 1, I'm sorry, from Yuhi. And we'll load up this. Now, I was playing on this one in pad mode in a minor scale. Right? So as soon as I load this one now and I put it in pad mode, what do I get? A minor scale again. Before, you literally had to set the scale for every single new instrument you brought in. This is a major improvement and just speeds up the workflow in general. So uh, let's see if any of you old ravers remember this. <laughs> classic, classic orb. Uh, this sounds as good as this. I'm blown away by this plugin. It's amazing. All right, so that's really cool. You bring in a new instrument, and it's going to load the scale you were previously using. What else is cool? Well, let's come to the drums. You now have the lock feature from Jam, which was so cool because the lock would allow you to enable lock, totally fuck around with your parameters, destroy the sound, make this crazy effects, sweeping, wash, whatever you want, and then hit lock again, and you will go back to the default state before you even hit lock. So you now have this in here. So if we hit lock, I can now have at my uh, arrangement in whatever way. So what I'm going to do is, if I hit shift lock, it shows you the different lock parameters. Remember, there's 64 different uh, states, if you will. Uh, so here's lock state one. That's my default starting point. So let's go in and go to the mix page of our drums. Turn down the high end and the snare. And now I just saved that as a lock state. So we can compare the two. And of course, we can keep adding to it. Really slick. And you can blend between them, of course. The more feature allows you to kind of like slowly, for instance, over one bar. all that fun stuff so really cool feature that's built in also the variation feature from machine jam is built in here i don't love it but maybe you're going to use it on a hi-hat that is fully velocity 127 and you just randomly want to put some velocities in you can easily do that that is under shift pattern and now you have your random stuff that you can do all your humanizing i'm not a huge fan of it it's a little too crazy a little too random for me personally but it's all good what else now Let's look at Jam. So Jam, you'll see now, has 16-step velocity. The 16 levels from Machine are now built in. So if I want to sequence a new pattern, I can choose what velocity I want to come in. So let's come in at full velocity for the drums. Do a little... You do a little new order that sounds a little too robotic so maybe you want to come in here and kind of uh put in a, a rising velocity step So for me, that is the biggest thing that was missing from Machine Jam upon release was this ability to have more control over your velocity per step. And now this is all fixed and I've been using it a lot more and loving it actually since then. So another great addition that you have is, for instance, you can come into the step sequencing 
and now I can hold down the step and you have instant control over whatever you want. So I can do like automation per, you can see here I'm automating the MIDI CC 16 or whatever, 18. Um, per step you have modulation options now. So you can come in and kind of set up your step automation like you could always do from Machine Studio or Machine Mark II. And the other cool thing is you can control note length. So maybe this note I want to be longer. You can hold it down, push in your jog controller, and go back and forth to control. So the problem was you're inputting all these steps and they're coming in as like perfect 16th notes or something. Uh, now you can kind of change it up a bit. So awesome free update. A uh, bunch of stuff I want. Can't wait for the other stuff like song layer, audio decks, all this good stuff that's promised. So cheers, uh, drink a beer, enjoy, connect all your old dusty hardware. And if it's dusty, shame on you. All right.